Hello, how are you guys doing today? Today, we got some large Mia news. We know what her model looks like, and boy, is this the most powerful character in the game. I think she's just gonna break it entirely. But before I talk about that, I wanna do a little bit of a long self-promo here. If you wanna skip it, that's fine. But I would like to announce a 24-hour stream that I am doing on Saturday, September 3rd at 3 p.m. It's going to last until Sunday at 3 p.m. EST, and we're going to be doing things like Evil Dead, you know, just a bunch of community stuff, some You Laugh, You Lose, just general 24-hour stuff. It's going to be a great time. I hope to see you there. Subscribe to the channel so you can come watch it. I'll also be doing a giveaway during this stream if I hit 3 300 subs by the end of the stream. I will give away one of these sick ass groovy shirts. It's gonna be great so make sure you join by subscribing and go to my discord in the description down below. You can see all the details there. There's a channel where you can join but that's as much as I'll bore you with details. Let's get right into this giant Mia news. So as you can see from this tweet we got a video showing off Mia and her two outfit options. It looks like we're getting the casual Michigan State sweater, which is called Scared State, which I think is funny. And we're getting a red dress, which is perfect. You'll notice she has both of her hands and she's carrying a machete. She almost did pick up a machete in the movie. So I kind of called this one in my Discord server. We may be seeing a machete mastery. However, However, this could be a red herring. I wouldn't get too expecting on seeing a chainsaw because she does have both of her hands and the animations of the chainsaw are iffy right now so we don't know for sure if she's gonna get to use one. I'm not expecting it. I think we're just gonna see a machete mastery. But I want to talk about her abilities right now because they're under a lot of fire right now. It says in the tweet that she uses fear to make her get more damage, which I was close on this one. She does happen to be a berserker, but instead of doing more damage based on the damage she takes, she does more damage based on the fear she receives, which I think is a pretty awesome mechanic, and I'm glad to see how it works. And the one that's under a lot of scrutiny right now is <laughs> the wording here says she has complete resistance to possession. And this is insane wording. Saber is known for horrible wording, so we don't know if this means she can't be possessed at all, or if her active allows her to not be possessed for a small amount of time. Either way, this is very strong, and I think it could be used well. And the real question on everybody's mind, is this OP? Is this something to worry about? Is this gonna break the game forever? Is she the most top tier character, game breaking, horrible character? Uh, no, she's not. I'm sorry. She's just, uh, her, the, the ability is like C tier at best, maybe a B tier if you really use it right. Technically, she is a warrior, so this will give her full access to the pistol if she is to have complete immunity from possession, but the pistol takes like three magazines to actually put down a deadite possession, so it's not even that crazy. I do want to remind you guys that in the game balance currently, there is already a character who is impossible to possess, and it's Leader Ash, a character who uses the pistol more effectively than a warrior ever could. So that's already better than... <laughs> That's already better than a warrior with anti-possess already. And we also have Henry in the game, who is actually the most broken character in the game. He can res an entire team for free, like using almost no resources except for a cooldown. It's absolutely insane. I don't know how more people don't complain about this guy. Anyway, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. Is she OP? No, this just doesn't hurt game balance at all. I don't even think they're going to go for this as a completely unpossessable mechanic, as to be honest, I think a lot of people are excited to see the Mia possessed model, as am I. I would like to see if they go with the Evil Dead model, but if she's unpossessable, I think that would add an interesting layer of gameplay to the game and add something new for demons to work around. As we know, demons 
are pretty solid in how they play the game right now, and this will kind of throw things into the mix, which I think is a great idea. On top of this, there is a wiki post that some people in my server were talking about. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. It says that Jane Levy is voicing Mia for the DLC. I'll show you that in a picture right here. Frankly, I don't believe this for a second. It's very possible. However, I could literally go on Wikipedia and change it to say she's not voicing it all the same. It's really just, it's not confirmed at all, and I would just take it with a grain of salt, like the tweet says. Said. But yeah, that's all for today. That is all the Mia news. I hope you guys are excited as I am. I'm going to be streaming this character all day on September 8th. So if you want to see the strats, the builds, everything, make sure to check me out on September 8th. I'm going to be playing Mia literally all day and seeing what she's all about. So thank you for watching. I would like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel, catch my 24 hour stream on Saturday, join my Discord so you can join the shirt giveaway and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye everyone!